power line devices are really good, they do work and I have here a Tevolo and TP-Link, uh, two types of TP-Link and they usually work, so if you get them and they don't work, don't blame the devices, there's something else you might need to know. So it may not work across the floor, so it may work, for example, on the ground floor and on the first floor, but it will not connect the first floor and the ground floor simply because of the way your electrical installation is uh, connected. There are ways around this. For example, Devil sells a device that your electrician can install to improve the connectivity between the floors and also within a single floor. Um, also, uh, different sockets, different rooms might have different uh, throughput. For example, I, I have been so lucky, the socket that I need to, which is this one, and the one that's far, far away near my router, uh, like 15 meters away through another room, actually these offer the best connection in the whole place. So I checked and even within the same room, I'm not getting uh, the same throughput, the same uh, connectivity. Uh, it's really poor. And these two happen to have the best. I mean, lucky me, it defies logic because it's a long distance between, like there is a long corridor in between and another big room. Uh, it's a long distance and all other sockets don't work and these do work very well. So you never know. So that's the main thing you need to know. Don't blame the devices. It could be your electrical installation. So test multiple sockets, okay? The other thing you need to know, you can mix and match brands, however, only if they share the same standard. So as far as I know, there are two standards, AV, so this one, and um, this thing, G.HN2400. Uh, so that's another standard. So I was able to mix uh, Devolo and TP-Link and they did work together really, really well. They did not work with AV. I tested and the manufacturer says they don't work and they didn't work together. So here's the uh, another thing uh, you also need to know. It's the speeds. The speeds advertised, as you can imagine, are not the speeds that you will be getting. So you might be thinking, okay, I'll, I'll be getting uh, 2,400, 400 megabits or two gig, two and a half almost gigabits per second. No, this is the gross throughput. So net is probably half of it. And in reality, you might be getting much less. I'm getting on this line, the best uh, scenario, I think I was getting 400 megabits, but that doesn't really hold for a long time. 300, 250, that's what I'm getting. So it's so a big difference. So that's what you need to bear in mind. Uh, so you may be better off getting a few actually Wi-Fi extenders and just connecting one Wi-Fi signal to another. So you might get four Wi-Fi extenders, Wi-Fi 6 for example, they have high throughput and you might be getting a better connection. But if you want cabled connection, uh, then these are your best options probably. Of course, it's best to take an, a long Ethernet cable and from your router to your computer or wherever you need to go. That's the probably the best, the cheapest option. Uh, although not everyone wants to route a cable through the house uh, or not everyone can do it. Another option is to get a fiber optic cable instead of Ethernet cable. That's another option, but you would need two devices on each end that will convert light into electricity and the other way around. It, the cost is around £50 for a set, for a kit, uh, that should also do the job. But these may be cheaper in the end and lower speeds, but much cheaper, much more convenient. Other things to consider is the physical build of those adapters. So for example, let's have a look. So these Devolo, they have two ports and one port in the adapter and it's at the top. Uh, same here, two ports, whereas with TP-Link, uh, the basic adapter has got the two of them here, but the extender uh, has got a port on the side. So that might be a bummer, depending how you plug it, etc. For example, if you have another thing like this uh, in the socket here, there will be a bit of a conflict because the Ethernet cable will get in and it will be in the way, or you might be close to a wall. For example, I prefer to have them at the top. I think that's much, much better. Also, as you can see, the extender in this version of TP-Link doesn't have a power socket. Here, whereas uh, these guys they do have so you do not lose the power socket you can still plug in something here another device and I found it very useful for me that that's actually quite useful I don't have enough sockets in various places now as you can see uh, we've got those things and I call these extenders 
So these adapters, they're all, let's call them all adapters, but these big ones, let's call them extenders. So what, what they do, how they extend things, well, they also have Wi-Fi built in. So you can configure the Wi-Fi in them separately. So you can copy the settings from your router or you can manually change the names of the networks, passwords, etc. This one, this version of Devolo supports uh, Wi-Fi 5. There is a version that supports Wi-Fi 6 as well, if that's what you need. Uh, this uh, does Wi-Fi 6, therefore it's very attractive. However, there is always a however. So the highest speed I was getting from this regarding the, the power line. Um, so with these, I was getting 350, 400, however, I bought two of those, two sets, so I've got four of those, and both of those adapters in both sets, they failed after less than an hour. They stopped working. They kind of work, but the transmission is close to zero, so they don't work anymore, so I'll be returning them. Now, I used those two extenders instead of uh, an adapter, and they worked really, really well, so I was getting, you know, 350 uh, or, or so, 400 if I was lucky, but usually 300, 350. Uh, so it's not the, the socket that's the problem, because these worked, these worked in, in those same sockets, they didn't break, only these um, stopped working, they just became faulty basically. So there's something with the batch of those, uh, not these, um, these uh, adapters, in particular this one. So again, if it doesn't work, it may be you are getting something that's faulty. So always double check, triple check. Connecting them, uh, making them work out of the box usually is fairly straightforward. You follow the instructions, you plug usually first the, the small adapter next to your router, plug it in, then it should start blinking, then you plug the, the extender to wherever you want it to, and then this should start blinking and after a moment they should connect. If they don't, there is a pair button on both of them, so in, in case of TP-Link, we need to press it and hold it for at least a second, but not longer than 10 seconds. I can't, yeah, after 10 seconds, it's a reset. So uh, not longer than 10 seconds, but more than one second. We let them go, they start blinking and they should pair. And I was able to pair them, as I said, with uh, Devolo as well, and they worked really well. If it doesn't work, unfortunately, there is a bit of a playing around, resetting, repairing, etc. It's a bit of a nuisance, but can be done. Also, it's useful to manage them from a computer. I'll show you how to manage them from a computer and what differences there are between those. And it's kind of important. Another thing I want to mention is uh, that advertisers sometimes kind of lie. So uh, these are rated as at 2000 megabits per second. And I read on TP-Link that actually the, the throughput will be around 1400, which is much more than supposedly these two. That didn't happen, that was not true. These were actually uh, slower than these and uh, slower than these as well, a little bit. So th these are not bad. And if you have a good electrical wiring, if you have a new house, for example, that should work really well for you. And you might be getting high speeds, who knows? You might be getting half a megabit maybe, or maybe even one megabit, uh, sorry, one gigabit, who knows? But for me, these were the fastest and these were kind of in between and these are the slowest. There are three standards of connecting, full power and two others. These were working for me best at the full power. These were working on the other standard. I'll show you on my computer which one. And um, when they were working together again, uh, same settings, full power and uh, this other standard. TP-Link comes with an uh, application that can be run from a computer, but it's rubbish. I'll show you how it works. It's not very actually useful. It's very slow. And the application is on really, really useful uh, in finding the, those devices, finding their IP address once they get it from the network. But you can also find it in your router if you know how to do it. Devolo also has got a managing app and it's actually pretty good. And uh, as you can see, I have detected both of my devices, adapters, and also this is a TP-Link adapter. I haven't been able to manage it, but otherwise this uh, software is good. I'll show you the details in the second part. The main thing to know is that they do work. Get them, buy them, follow the manual, the instructions, and they should work out of the box without too much hassle. If they don't work, you may need to spend some time, do some troubleshooting, or call your IT friend who will help you figure this out. And so don't give up, make them work. They all usually come with uh, two network cables, so you don't need to have your own. So one 
uh, with one of the cables you connect uh, the, the, the first adapter to the router, the extender to your computer or to you, whatever you wanted to connect it to, a switch, another router. So all is included in the box and usually instructions are fairly easy to follow. They do not consume a lot of power according to manufacturers, they consume anything between 5 to like 16, 20 watts. So that is that is quite okay. I mean, it's not uh, little, but five words in a standby mode, I think that's acceptable. 20 when they are processing lots of data, I think that's also acceptable. But on average, we are looking at 10 to uh, 15 watts of power. So they do get hot when they operate, especially those with uh, Wi-Fi. So uh, Devil reports that they, it, it can get up to 80, 90, even 100 degrees Celsius. So I'm guessing it could be similar with TP-Link. Uh, these without Wi-Fi, they will be much colder internally, but still they will get warm. So that's normal. There is no need to panic if, if they are kind of hot, unless they are burning, of course. They shouldn't be burning. They should be safe to touch. So even if it's reporting that it's like 80, 90 degrees inside, outside they should be okay to touch because they are made of plastic.